I'll come to this video for N4 Electrotechniques and in module five, we'll be looking at AC single phase motors. Now, before we take a look at the different types of AC single phase motors, it's important to illustrate the advantages of three phase motors. For a three phase motor, it has three coils placed 120 degrees apart. As they rotate 360 degrees, they produce three sine waves. Because of the phase difference between the sine waves, it implies that three phase motors are self-starting. However, a single phase motor only produces one sine wave. And the problem with that is that single phase motors are not self-starting. The other advantage of three phase motors is that they are smaller and cheaper, more efficient and have a better power factor. In this illustration, we have a resistance start induction run motor. If we take a look at the circuit diagram, we have the main winding and the start winding, a centrifugal switch and the rotor. For the application of these motors, they are mainly used for washing machines and have low starting torque. In terms of the operation, the start winding is wound with fewer turns and smaller diameter. Therefore, it has higher resistance and lower inductance than the main winding. When the motor starts, the current through the main winding will cause the voltage to lag behind the current. This lag splits the AC wave, which then turns the rotor. In this illustration, we have a capacitor start induction run motor. Um, in terms of the application, this motor is mainly used for swimming pool pumps, and it has slightly higher torque. If we take a look at the circuit diagram, you'll notice that we have a start capacitor, a start winding, a run winding, central fugal switch and a rotor. In terms of the operation, a capacitor starts induction motor only has a capacitor in series with the auxiliary winding during the starting of the motor. Around about 80% operating speed, the central fugal switch disengages and cuts out the start capacitor and start winding. In this motor, it is known as the capacitor start capacitor run induction run motor. If we take a look at the circuit diagram, you'll notice that we have the run winding, the auxiliary winding, a run capacitor, and we have a start capacitor. In terms of the application, it's mainly used as an air compressor and has the highest torque. For the operation, the capacitor start capacitor run motor has a cage rotor, and it states it has two windings known as the main and auxiliary winding. The two windings are displaced 90 degrees in space, and there are two capacitors in this method. One is used at the time of starting and is known as a starting capacitor, and the other one is used for continuous running of the motor and is known as the run capacitor. Thanks for watching this video for single phase AC motors.